Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Technology and Livelihood Education 7, which is all about applying safety measures in farm operation and harvesting and post-harvesting practices. This will be the second quarter topic and learning competency number 4 and 5. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to describe the rest and hazard. The second one is to apply occupational safety during farm operations. And the third one is to appreciate the occupational safety during farm operations by doing a reflection log. In activating the prior knowledge, the students will do the word search activity. For the direction, all they have to do is to look for the given words on the board. In establishing purpose of the lesson for the unlocking of content vocabulary, the students will use the match type activity. Occupational safety when in the farm is the safety practices set by the farm owners that involves production and work process of farm workers. Farmers should always take extra measure to ensure their safety while working in the farm. Hazards and rest in the farm. Farmers are exposed to a lot of rest which can lead to major accidents or injuries. Rest is the possibility of the hazard to exist. It may cause injury or health problems. It is important that workers are properly trained and properly guided by the management. Hazard can potentially harm or injure workers. In any workplace, hazard exists. Over fatigue, improper posture while harvesting the crops and using unguarded machineries are some of the common hazards. The following are the types of hazard. The first one is the physical hazard. It includes the weak platform, slippery stairs or floorings, falling objects, excessive loud music, prolonged vibration, poor ventilation, extreme temperatures, and poor air quality. Another type of hazard is the mechanical hazard. It is caused by electrically operated machineries or devices that can cause electric shock or electrocution. Pressure vessels, tractors, and cranes are all used in farm operations. Another type of hazard is the chemical hazard are typically of hazardous chemicals that can cause fire and explosion that come from pesticides cleaning agents acids and poisons exposure to certain chemicals or improper handling and use of those chemicals can cause acute or long-term adverse health effects Another type of hazard is the biological hazards, and this includes the bacteria, viruses, mold, mildew, 
insects, and vermin, among others. Biological hazards are organic substances that pose a threat to the health of people and other living organisms. Another type of hazard is the psychosocial hazard. It is the stresses that farmers get from the work, family, or even among friends. Psychological risks include the production of negative affective states such as anxiety, depression, guilt, shock, and loss of self-esteem and altered behavior. Another type of hazard is the ergonomic hazard. It refers to any physical condition that can be experienced in the workplace due to incorrect body movements that can cause injury or other health concern that may affect the musculoskeletal system causing aches and sprains that may appear not too serious at first but may develop into serious problem which can cause permanent damage to the body. Chemicals and hazardous tools and equipment used for farm works. So for spraying chemicals, the use of fertilizers and pesticides are common in farming. These are used to control the pests, weeds, and mollocks. Spraying is the most common method of applying chemicals. Farm owners consult local agriculturists for the appropriate chemicals to use in their crops. Here are some important things to remember when using chemical for the crops. Do not attempt to spray if there is a strong wind and its direction is towards the body of water or a house. And then, never wash the spray equipment with water running down into the open drains or towards a dam. Or refrain from using use of chemical containers. The following is to reduce the rest of hazardous chemicals. The first one is appropriate PPE must be used. And then store the chemicals in lock cabinet or storage area. And then know the first aid procedures. And the last one is provide a list of hazardous chemicals used in the farm. Land preparation using heavy equipment and implements. The use of mechanical equipment for the land preparation like tractor might involve rest such as person being run over by it. The tractor also has the tendency to overturn, especially if it is running too fast or the operator makes a sharp turn, sudden swerve or sudden stop. Here are some things to remember when using heavy farm implements. The first one is do not use a tractor for transportation. It is not a passenger vehicle. The second one is use a seat belt when driving a tractor. Use of PPE that can save the operator from serious injuries. To avoid possible hazard and rest in the farm, Personal protective equipment is advice. Safety is the physical environmental condition of work which complies with occupational health safety standards and which allows the farmers to perform their job without or within acceptable exposure to hazard. One of the basic requirements to maintain this standard is the provision of PPE. This can reduce the number and severity of farmers-related injuries and illnesses. The following are the chemicals and hazardous tools and equipment used for farm work.
the following are the basic first aid during emergency situation and accidents in the farm. The first one is the shock. So do not give the victim anything to eat or to drink. Lay the victim on his or her back, but do not move him or her if there is a neck or back injury. Make sure that the victim gets adequate air and then keeps the victim warm. Raise the victim's feet and legs with a pillow. And the last one, so if the victim victim vomits, roll the victim on his or her side and keep the wine pipe clear. The following are the basic first aid during the bleeding and wounds. The first one is place a clean cloth or gauze over the wound, then apply firm, steady pressure for at least 5 minutes. The second one is to elevate an injured arm or leg above the level of the victim's heart if possible. The third one is when the bleeding stops, secure the cloth with a bandage. Do not lift the cloth from the wound to check if the bleeding has stopped. Be sure that the bandage is not too tight. The fourth one is to check the victim for shock and the last one is to use tourniquets only when you cannot control the bleeding. The following are the basic first aid during the chemical or compressed gas burns. The first one is use a drench hose, emergency shower, or eye wash for at least 15 minutes to rinse away all traces of chemicals while removing any contaminated clothing from the victim. The second one is cover the burn loosely with a clean, dry cloth or special burn dressing. And the last one is to check the victim for shock. Thank you.